diesel power on the Santa Fe focuses on the 1965 to 1985 period, when the railroad industry was in a time of great change. Follow us to see hot mainline action and also kick back with some memories of locals on the old abandoned Pasadena line. Don't miss the early Alcos and EMD power of yesterday out on the main line or in Barstow and other yard locations around the system. See Cajon Pass with a tremendous variety of trains, plus to Hatchapi and other California hotspots from the filming efforts of many rail fans and former railroad employees. The Santa Fe passenger trains of yesterday will show a railroad committed to a high level of service to the end of operation in 1971, and we bring back those Santa Fe cabooses on a great mix of freight trains before containerization took over. The video begins with the start of World War II when steam was still king. The Santa Fe system was a secure way to move tonnage during the war that threatened ships that would be at risk traveling east to west through the Panama Canal. The Santa Fe system kept the country moving with troop trains and an incredible buildup of freight on the system. After the war, the Santa Fe rebuilt its passenger fleet to serve a country eager to travel in comfort and speed. See a time when service and style was at its best in Santa Fe hands with its gleaming fleet of trains exemplified by the Santa Fe chief. The growing airline industry would steal much of this business away eventually, but the Santa Fe maintained its standards until the end, protecting its reputation for a better future as a freight-only carrier as time rolled ahead. The most recognized face in the rail industry was the red and silver war bonnets on the F unit fleet that we bring to you in full color. The beautiful Alco PA passenger locomotives are also in this video in their last years of operation on the Santa Fe. Follow the F unit powered cheap over the Pasadena line and see the newly delivered FP-45s roar into the scene as Santa Fe's last EMDs bought for passenger duty. Remember the distinctive GE U-boat passenger locomotives that were demoted to freight duty. We see the phase out of the first generation power and the development of higher horsepower turbo and supercharged machines. These Jeeps on Cajon helper duty are a real contrast to the six axle power that replaced them years later. This video has many specially created maps and diagrams to explain the traffic and operations on the Santa Fe system. Follow the procession of power modernization with Jeep 30s through 40s and the growth of six axle power including the SD24s. Watch the emergence of the big 20-cylinder SD45s and F45s at hot spots such as Mojave, the line to Barstow, and the Lupa to Hatchapi. The focus shifts to the north to see the Santa Fe in 1985 during the ill-fated merger with the SP, and we visit locations such as Stockton, Richmond out to Bay Point, Franklin Canyon, and street running in Fresno to mention a few. And don't miss the famous fast Super C out on the desert running 90 mile an hour freight service. Besides California, we highlight the eastern portions including New Mexico, Illinois, and Arizona with some branch line running on a passenger train. 
This video is bristling with surprises that will rekindle the enthusiasm of any Santa Fe fan now that the end has come to a fine railroad as a separate line.